Diving into water is one of the most common reasons for spinal injury. 10% of all young people in spinal injury wards in hospital are there due to diving accidents. Diving head first when you are not completely sure of the water depth is the most dangerous activity. Playing in the water is fun, but it is important to know your surroundings. Generally, it is suggested that if you are jumping from 3 metres above the water, you should have at least 4 metres of depth below the surface to give you time to pull out from a dive. Always test the depth by entering the water slowly, feet first, viewing for sandbars, or by using something like a stick. Sinking feet first to the bottom is a good way to test the depth. Remember to only dive in at the spot that you tested and remember the underwater depth can change with the tide or change overnight with shifting sand. Consumption of alcohol also features in many water accidents. Alcohol lowers people's inhibitions meaning that they are more likely to try something considered dangerous when sober. Poor visibility travelling at speed through the water means you strike the bottom before you realise, knocking your arms away, crashing your head into anything in the way. When your head hits the bottom or something solid, you can receive head injuries. Also, your head can snap back, injuring your neck where the most critical parts of the spine are located. Sudden injury to your spine in the neck area can also cause instant paralysis to your body, so you may also find yourself in the water unable to swim to save yourself. If you are present when a spinal injury like this happens to someone, there is a lot you can do to help. With quick thinking, you can save the person's life but you must also be careful to avoid making their spinal injury worse. A good thing to remember is to keep the person like a log of wood. In other words, keep them laying completely flat. In the water, this might mean having everyone around to support the person on the surface. You may even need to stay like this until professional help arrives. Spinal injuries can occur in a variety of water situations, not just diving from jetties. Also, activities like diving from boats, cliffs and into unfamiliar swimming pools. Remember, always check the water for hidden dangers and sufficient depth. In Australia, each year, 400 young people have spinal injuries that give them a permanent disability. Imagine if you could not feed yourself or were unable to move ever again.